actually had to hand shovel the dirt behind us. <laughs> we got a lot of work ahead. We're gonna keep this short. Um, this is a this is an amazing day. Uh, this this day has been uh, in the making for at least 16 years. 16 years. Uh, I can recall uh, being in the upstairs uh, SU Boathouse and listening to Jen Groomberg pitch her multi-million dollar marble staircase boathouse. Um, and, uh, and, and, and from that going forward, so many of us have carried the baton. I mean, when you look at the history of this boathouse and what, what's going on, it really it, it exemplifies the sport that, that we all participate in. Um, it's truly a team sport. And, uh, from Jen, Bill Sanford participated. He contributed and, and helped to, to get the uh, feasibility study underway and to help us think about getting this project uh, realistically pulled off. We had a boathouse committee, Georgia and John Danks. Uh, you, at some point in, in that time, you faithfully uh, pushed this project along. Uh, and then uh, my predecessor, Bob O'Leary, who really uh, made it uh, possible with the legislature and got the lease negotiated, along with Kathy Garofalo, who met with countless number of donors, uh, Paul Sansusi, Lynn Hathaway, all a part of that group. Um, and really, all through this, we had Jim King, who's donated his time, um, has had employees donating his time, and you've been involved since the early 2000s, when we were talking 10 years. Uh, and, and then from Jim King, Al Sturpey. Who, uh, you know, I uh, I pestered and, uh, and, and well, tried. Well, Bob O'Leary pestered me for years. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ryan McMahon, the Onondaga County Legislature, Judy Tasson, John Doherty, Kathy Rapp, all spent time uh, listening to what we do here. I mean, you all know you're all part of our club. We do amazing things here, and we're continuing to do amazing things here. And they all listen to us. Um, we, the, the support from the Onondaga County Parks, Bill Lansley, Bingo Benson. And, and obviously, uh, you know, we've got this sign here for AmeriCube. Without AmeriCube's support um, in getting us the, the loan that we, we needed to finish off the fundraising, we wouldn't be standing here today. So thank you to AmeriCube. Uh, Larry Laszlo, Dave Cassano, who are part of our, our, our Boathouse Committee, uh, they faithfully attended meetings and, and pushed this along and, and gotten the project underway. Uh, Larry Gallagher and Jen Scalione, those two individuals, board members, <laughs> Without them, we couldn't have pulled this off. Um, the paperwork that has gone behind this project has been, it's, 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 it's crazy. And Jen, thank you so much for all that you do. Um, it's really appreciated. And Larry, um, thank you. You guys, everyone deserves a, a, an applause because you could have done it all. If you go onto our website, we have a laundry list of donors who, who supported this boathouse project. I mean, at the end of the day, the project itself is uh, in excess of $800,000, um, and it's through the support of AmeriCube, the donors, uh, and, and the grants that we've gotten from Al Sturpey, uh, from New York State, and the grants we've gotten from County Parks to make this all possible. So, uh, a huge day for us. I mean, really, six, really 16, days, 16 years in the making. So, I'd like to have Al say a few words. Well, I'm a short timer. I've only been involved for nine years in this project. But, uh, you know, a lot of smiles today because this was something that was very hard to do. And everybody here had it done. So I want to congratulate everybody. Uh, Joe for being the guy that finally made it to the finish line with him. But Bob O'Leary would call me every week for years and explain to me how important this was all the kids that maybe weren't great football players or basketball players, maybe they could have something that they could be really good at if they worked hard enough. And that's what sort of got me hooked into this, um, along with the fact that it was the number one sport for women's scholarships to college. And there were lots of girls, especially in the city and stuff, that would never have gone to college and had that for all. So, Again, congratulations. I want to make sure this thing goes up fairly quickly. I want to be alive before. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.
Then you fast forward to 2004, and my, my uh, older son ran into uh, Pat McCarty at Pat Lane. Pat convinced him he ought to step away from cross country and try rowing. Uh, then, we, then I ran into Dave Cassano, Dick Scholes, uh, all those coaches that were leading the FM team around the countryside. I just happened to tow the shells of that big pickup truck. And then six years ago, I said, you know what? My kids are done. It's time for me to get involved. Never rode before in my life. But the Chargers corporate uh, rowing program, and I think I got a call from, I don't remember whether it was Joe, Dave, doesn't really matter, but somebody at the Chargers challenged us to put a corporate team together, and we've been doing it for six years. So I had the honor of being coached by Paul uh, Sanford, Larry Laszlo, Dave Pisano, some great coaches, and a whole bunch of others that I know are here today, and a whole bunch of uh, youngsters. Uh, so that's really what got me involved, along with Bob O'Leary, because he twisted my arm as he did Al when I was uh, with the FM team. Uh, and it's been a great ride, and it has been 10 years. I, I flipped open my notebook at a Charger board meeting the other day, and it was July 10, 2006 that we started, that I started the project, at least according to my notes. So congratulations to everybody here that made it happen, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that aren't here that also made it happen. And this is going to be up for four snow fights. So what? foundation will be poured and uh, once the foundation is poured then the structure will get built. The structure is a two bay, I'm sorry, two story. I'm taking off. Uh, uh, it's, it's a two story, five bay boathouse. Um, it'll be the biggest structure on this side of the river. And uh, what I'm really excited about is, you know, we've had interest from other high schools, we've had interest to, to start other programs. And if, if you know what we've done with our equipment, um, we've, we've halted buying equipment. And uh, once this boathouse uh, gets built, all those, those ideas can be revisited. And uh, we can grow this sport, and we can have a lot more opportunity for all of you as well. So I'm really, really excited about it. And thank you all so very much for coming. Um, what I'd like to do now is have a uh, memorial shovel day with uh, our shovelers. And, I hope it's uh, soft or something.